Ready to shoot? Yeah, you bet I am! You bet I am, Kyle! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Last week, Friday was fucking hell. Had to wake up early. No, no, wait, we never woke up early cause we never slept. Here's one clip I recorded of that. <laughs> well, we slept for at least four hours and now my head kinda hurts like shit. Which is a minor issue compared to my coughing or my, 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 my head. Speaking of which, I contracted some sort of viral infection which means that for the last few days I got migraines and the uncommon cold. I say uncommon because of all the colds that I got, this has got to be one of the rarest and most painful ones in my life uh, as of now. So going back to last week, I thought to myself that in order to make myself feel a little better from all that overnight work that led to little progress in our thesis, I decided to eat inside a restaurant called Shenzhen, which is literally a few blocks away from my house. Everything's close to where I live. The church, the hospital, the convenience store, the store with more convenience store, Starbucks, Max's restaurant, Yellow Cab Pizza, a grocery store where I could walk into with only my pajamas on and buy ingredients for making 18th century fried chicken from Dictionary the Dictionarium the most the Dictionarium Domesticum, the cemetery, the pet shop, and the city hall. Oh, and a minute burger. As I entered the restaurant, I was greeted by 30 something year old woman who spoke basic Japanese. Like in a previous restaurant that I went called Kimono Ken. Except this time I saw some Lego Shinto shrines and some dark fucking Vader action figures. Then I took a seat and a young lady went up to me and gave me the menu, which I then looked for the almighty delicious gyudon. I found it in the donburi section of the menu alongside katsudon and a bunch of other shit that I don't give a flagellated popsicle about. I ordered gyudon and some Sprite, but they said they don't have Sprite, so I asked for Coke Light instead. Now, I know you're going to say, Hey, weeabu! I already talked about this before. Just because I like and study Japanese culture does not mean that I'm shooting rosin guns out of my fucking ass. Why don't you order sushi instead of some Bowl of rice with slices of beef on top. I understand that you're kind of confused with the fact that I ordered a cow on top of a bowl of rice inside a restaurant that sells fish and rice wrapped in seaweed. But the thing is, I can just order a whole fucking pack of sushi in SNR straight out of the fucking freezer and eat it raw. It's fucking raw! And I don't want to waste my money on food that is readily available at a shopping center that works like a combination of IKEA, Walmart, and Wendy's in a country dominated by compulsory identification cards for access to goods. Is this tofu? Let me taste. Uh -huh. So I got the free miso soup first, then I noticed some tofu in it, which then put taho inside my mind. Taho! 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 I've waited 83 years! And I can finally taste it. Mm. Look, the egg yolk is still. I can't wait to fucking eat this piece of shit. Doesn't taste as good as the one I ate before, but this is good enough. Jesus Christ. It's so delicious! When I first started eating in. eating gyodon in kimono ken, I just ended up going to talking eating. With fucking chopsticks, so I'd feel a little bit more Asian. This is the best lonely dinner. <laughs> By the way, this is a sushi bar, which means it sells sushi. But I ordered gyudon, so uh, I'm retarded. When I got the receipt, it says it's cost it costs 314 pesos and 60 centavos. And when I read the menu and counted the cost in my phone's calculator and expected to pay around only 286 pesos, but then it says service charge 10%. Like as if the cashier decided to force the victim, I mean the customer, to give the waiters and waitresses their tips against their will, like in America, which means it costs nearly 315 pesos to eat gyudon there. So it is settled that I'm going to have to learn how to make gyudon myself, and I think I found a good video to get me started. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make gyudon simply at home. The ingredients for a large bowl are following 150 grams of thinly sliced beef, a half sliced onion, a raw egg, 150 milliliters of water, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 and a half tablespoons of Japanese sake, white wine is also fine. Hurry the fuck up! 
I'm still willing to eat at Starbucks though, since they don't have the service charge bullshit and just add it straight into their menus and make any order somewhat pricey, but it's still worth it. Hell, I might even befriend the staff in there so I could shoot some random ass footage for my pitiful fan base for shits and giggles. So yeah, remember kids, always carry your identification cards or you will be shot by Domino's Pizza Security Forces and we'll see you next week. Oh, and by the way, I actually decided to cook my own dude and it turned out to contain hard as fuck to chew beef. I'll practice cooking this dish until I mastered it enough to make a video about cooking it.